Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm doing this video. It was requested by a Wonder producer. Wanted to know my settings for the Bluetooth MIDI on Windows. So I'm just gonna show you what I got right now and then what I have the settings on. So I'm gonna switch it over to the uh, screen from my computer. Okay, so looks like you can see that all right. So first thing you wanna do, you wanna make sure in Windows 10, you wanna make sure you're updated to the latest version of Windows, like the latest version. Make sure you've gotten all the updates. And that next thing you're gonna to wanna to install, and you can get this from the Windows Store, is a program, it's called MIDI Berry. Spelled just like it looks right there. Before you, um, can do anything like this, you have to be able to establish virtual MIDI on your computer. And what does that virtual MIDI is a free application right here. It's called Loop MIDI. They got there is all one word. Just Google it. Um, you'll know you're at the right website when it shows that it was made by Tobias Erickson. You want to download Loop MIDI, install it into your computer then download MIDI Berry, install that. And for me, this is a screenshot I took in case I, I did this right when it, I got it working. I didn't want to lose the settings. So I selected the input as the Bluetooth MIDI controller that I wanted to use with my computer. So I did light pad block Bluetooth MIDI in. And then down here, the loop MIDI application had a... Tr a, a MIDI port available for me and I chose the MIDI and it'll, it might be different number each time but it'll give you a number you'll see the last num two numbers on here are 89 and on another one in this field you'll see one that's 88 I just always chose the higher number out of the two it provided that just said MIDI as the uh, as the MIDI output you'll know it's working when you can press on your Bluetooth controller which you do need to have paired already and Windows settings added on there as a Bluetooth device. Um, you'll notice it's working when you see down here that when you hit a note on your keyboard, on your MIDI keyboard, you'll see it down here. Now, the Loop MIDI, once you've installed it, you'll see right here, you'll wanna go into the corner of Loop MIDI right here and push the, you can't see it because of the brightness, there it is. Hit the plus button to create a new track, or I'm sorry, not a new track, but a, a new MIDI channel. So that there creates MIDI BLE, because I named it BLE for Bluetooth, because I use the same controller, sometimes USB, and I wanted to be able to differentiate within my DAW. So I'm opening a propeller head reason right now, because that's what I work off of. And you can, I'll go into my preferences, control surfaces. I just selected, um, I did, you know, manufacturer, other, model, just MIDI control keyboard. And then name, Roly, BLE. And then down here, my MIDI ports, you can see when I drop down, I have that one that says BLE because that's the virtual port created by, um, created by the loop midi so that's what i have so far and that's how i'm working it so let me know if you have any other questions after that or if you have if you're using specific devices maybe i can just reword everything to you to help you hook it up and not get confused because it's something you're used to working with thank you so much make sure to like and subscribe appreciate it bye oh wait maybe Maybe I'll play a little something that I was working on. I think I will. I'm going to play a little something I was working on. I was just playing around a little bit. I got two kids. I'm in college. Man, I'll be busy. Here we go.